On today's show, we're going to look at how to do the impossible in Lightroom Mobile. That is copy slash duplicate photos and how to batch apply a copy and paste to copy and paste your image adjustments. For any of you out there who've been using Lightroom Mobile along with the Lightroom Desktop, and now this is the Lightroom CC, which used to just be called, there was Lightroom Classic, and then they keep changing the names. It's actually, the CC is now gone. It is now Lightroom, full stop. You have Lightroom Desktop and you have Lightroom Mobile, but it's just Lightroom. So this is the one we're talking about. For the most part, you have feature parity across the desktop and the mobile, for the most part. There are a few key differences and, and some things that may actually stop you from using it, which can be super frustrating. There are two features particularly that I use all the time that do not exist on mobile, and it was driving me nuts until I figured out a way around this. Here's the deal. We want to be able to copy or duplicate photos. Super common thing to do. You can't do it on mobile. It doesn't exist. It's like, where's the copy duplicate? It's not there. And the other one is batch pasting. So you can copy and paste the adjustments from one photo to another. But what you can't do is copy the adjustments from one photo and then paste it to multiple at once. So this can be a real bummer for a lot of workflows. But we've got a workaround. Now, the workaround involves remote desktoping into your desktop computer. Okay, don't hate me. I realize this is kind of like, well, duh, of course I can do that. But it's actually a lot easier than it sounds, and it works really, really remarkably well. Now, the software that I'm using is something called Screens. I'll include links to that down below. I don't have any kind of discount codes for you or anything like that. But it's called Screens. So you can just search for it on the Mac App Store. It is a paid app, and you'll have a version of it that runs on your Mac and a version that runs on your iOS device. For now, let's start by just launching Lightroom. I've got these six photos in here, and I love these photos. I love the look I've applied to them. I think this is great, but I'm thinking maybe I want to try something different. But I don't want to get rid of, don't want to lose the work that I've already done. So I want to duplicate these and apply a new look. And once I find a new look I like on one, I want to apply it to all of them. So super, super common workflow. In here, um, I could just do the work in this same album, but I actually want to create a new album. So I'm going to go over here and just so plus and new album. And we're going to call this Teresa um, version two. So I want to put copies of these photos into that. And of course, I can't. So here's what I do. I go to my desktop. Let's go to the overhead view so that you can actually see what happens now. And I launch something called Screens. And Screens is now right now seeing three of my computers, and this is the one I'm going to connect to. So I tap on that, and it is connecting, downloading. And in a moment here, there it is. We are connected. I will say that this does work over an LTE connection. I have done that many, many times. Obviously, it's faster if you're on Wi-Fi. But if you are in an LTE connection, then it will still work. The one thing, well, two things I'll actually tell you about that. If you're going to do an LTE connection to your Mac, make sure that it works before you leave your home or studio. There are some configuration things within screens that you really got to get right. And if you don't have it set up properly, you might be able to connect on Wi-Fi and think it's all working, but then you can't connect over LTE. So you'll want to make sure that that is working. So all you got to do is turn off Wi-Fi on your iOS device and test it. And if it's not working, then troubleshoot. And that's a screens thing. So go to their support and figure that out. Bring my mouse down to the bottom and you'll see the dock is going to come up and you see the same thing happening up there. And I'll just tap on that to launch Lightroom. And you can see there's very little latency between them, which is pretty cool. Let's see here. I'm looking at a different folder than I was before. Now I can pinch in, even though I'm, you know, I'm looking at my desktop view, I can pinch into here and let's see that new album I created was, let's turn this into the, um, into the touch mode here. There we go. Open up by model, open up this and somewhere down here is you can two finger scroll which can be a little tricky sometimes, but there we go, two finger scroll. There's Teresa version two. So there's the empty album that I just created. Okay, now let's go back into the main album there, the one that I wanna duplicate all these photos from. And I wanna select all of these. So you can use keyboard shortcuts just like you would. If you have an actual smart keyboard hook connected, then you can use the keyboard shortcuts, which makes this even easier. I'm gonna do it entirely on the screen as if I didn't have a keyboard, just to kind of show that you can even do it that way as well. So let's go over here, I'll bring up the keyboard. I'm gonna hit Command and A, and that's Command All. It's now selected all of those. Then I can right click by two finger tapping on the screen, that pulls up the menu. So there's the Mac OS menu showing that. And I'm gonna choose make copies of six photos there. And after just a moment, 
the six photos are going to get duplicated, and there we go. Now, at this point, I could just leave it, but because I created a whole new album, I want to put them into there, so I'm going to do that. Now, this is one of those areas where you got to have a little bit of trust and patience in what's happening. It, you can't move as quickly as you would if you were on the desktop. So I can't just click and drag over. I'm going to click, tap, and just wait a second, even though I can't see, okay, now I can see the computer, but normally you can't see the computer, just to kind of know that it's actually active. Just have a little bit of patience when you're doing this sort of thing, especially if you're on LTE, and it will work. Just keep in mind, you are remote accessing a machine here. Okay, so now I've got these selected. Now these, the ones that are duplicated are still selected. You can see the white boxes around these. They're still selected, so I can just take any one of those tap and drag this guy. You saw the little pulse to blue, and now as I drag, I can see confirmation that I've got him, and I'm gonna drag this into that Teresa version two, and we see now the count is going up to six. Oop, there it is, and so those are added in there. Now these are also, also still over here, so if I don't want these here, I can delete those. Let's bring up the keyboard and just hit delete, and it's going to say um, this won't be, they won't be deleted, they're just being removed from the albums. That's great, that's what I want. Hit remove, and we're good. So now I have two albums that have the same content, Teresa Lopez and then the Teresa version two. And these right now have the exact same images. Now at this point, I could, if I you know, liked pain, I could do all of my editing remotely, but there's no need to do that because in the background, this is already syncing back over to Lightroom Mobile here. So I may as well go and do the adjustments on the iPad natively like I normally would. I'm just going to pull up, go back to Lightroom in here, this is my, my uh, mobile system, and you see there's Teresa version 2, and now it hasn't quite, uh, hasn't quite caught up yet there. It's Now it's done in here. It was just taking a moment. So there's those six images. So there's the original ones, and there's the new ones. Okay, so now I'm going to do an edit. So let's say I go into here, and I'm just going to apply a preset just to do something different. Let's do like a black and white um, punch. We'll choose this. And because being able to do selective copying of adjustments is important, I'm going to do one other adjustment to this photo that I don't want applied to the other photos, just to kind of show the depth at which you can take this if you need to. So back into here, I've applied that look to it. If, of course, this is applied only to that one photo. So I'll go into this one photo. I'm also gonna do a little geometry work in here. Let's do like a little upright vertical straightening on there. See if that makes that look any better. Can I straighten that out? Sure, let's just you know pretend that that works. It doesn't really matter. Now, at this point, I want to take the adjustments from that one photo, the adjustments from this photo here, and copy to all of these. But again, of course, I can't do that right on the mobile. So let's just go ahead and swipe up and go back over to screens. And we'll see if the connection is still established. It looks like it is. If it wasn't, it'll just take a moment. It'll say reconnecting and you'll be reconnected. But in this case, I'm still here. And now I'm going to, let's go to the Teresa version two. It's right there. It looks like the black and white has already copied over. We can see it up on that screen up there as well. And now I'm gonna select that image go to, let's see, you have to go into the editing mode here, I believe. Tap on the three dots on here, there it is. Copy edit settings or choose edit settings to copy, which is what I want. So I choose edit settings. That brings up this dialog allowing me to choose exactly what I want to copy. From here I could say, do all modified. So that's everything that was modified. However, I don't want geometry. So I'm gonna disable that and then just hit copy. That is now copied. Now let's go back to the grid view. I'll tap on that one, I'll hit the shift modifier key and tap on there, there we go. So shift tap on there. See, sometimes you gotta get a little bit creative of how you're selecting things, but you can shift click to, collect, to select a range, command click to deselect a single one, it all works. Photo, paste edit settings, there we go, they're all there, that's now already sunk over. That's it, I, I realize it's, it's a little disingenuous because you're not actually doing it on here, but it's totally possible. I do this all the time because these two functions, the inability to copy a file, the inability to paste to multiple files is just doing my head in and it doesn't seem like it's something that's coming anytime soon. At least Adobe hasn't said that it is. So I decided this is how I do it. I'm just gonna share this with you so you can do that as well. And that's all there is to it. Do you, let me ask you, do you have any other crazy tips like this, crazy ways of using the tool that is out of the ordinary that allows you to do something that you couldn't normally do? If so, let me know in the comments down below. I wanna hear about it because I'm always trying to expand what I can do within Lightroom. Um, I think it's a pretty cool tip and technique to do here. For those of you watching live, let's jump into the live Q&A right now. For the, those of you not watching live, that live Q&A that was no longer live, but was at some point, we'll be right here. See you in a moment.